the future stars in yesterday's cars. This is Dunlop Super 2 at the mountain. What a sight and what a sound as we go racing. What an even start that is off the front row. Can boys hang there? It's worth the fight. They go side by side through Hell Corner and they're still side by side up Mountain Straight. Tyler Everingham, third in the queue, might be able to slipstream behind boys or does he pick his teammate, go the outside? Bit of action further back in the pack. And that's Zane Moss. Oh, and wow, that was close. Reef McCarthy with a huge slide and nearly gets into the back of McCorkendale. It's an awkward re-entry. He just needs to call it for a second. He handles that well. So the team will be saying it was rear locking. So it's, let's call that when that, here we go. It's five up the inside. Oh, this is really it's sideways. Yet. They're not going to get away with this, surely. Uh, Somehow they do. Fife and Robotham still side by going. side. They're going to need to sort it out before this next part of the circuit, as they do. But And now Fife. Oh, drama. This is at the eggs of Forest Elbow. That's, uh, that's, that that's, will be separate. That looks like, is that's there, gone in at the top, has it? contact? Or is that left over from the Stephen Page one? But he's parked himself right. at the exit of Forest Elbow. That's not in a great spot right there. You, know, you think back all the way back to 1983, and it's actually that very wall that Steve Johnson hit. And he's understeer wide. Fife's understeer wide. And heavy, heavy contact is damage on the right front. And uh, that one's not going to make it back to pit lane. We're just halfway as we check a replay here at the top of the mountain. Oh, Michael Anderson. He's got the wiggle on. Yeah, you need to be careful here because there's no grip out here. Oh, Nash Morris down at the final corner. And that's an awkward spot yeah, to be stuck. an awkward spot. He's got that bolt. We'll need to reset. Ju yeah, just up there in the background, you can see Nash Morris just has the rears locked. So easy to do. The green flags will start waving shortly. That doesn't mean Jordan Boyce has to go right then. He can choose when he wants to go. You see the green flags, they're waving. Boyce hasn't gone yet. Now it's poker. When do you show your hand? He's taking him deep. Oh, now that you can see at the back, everyone's there keen oh. to get going. They're Boyce all getting is taking very him nervous. very deep. He's got to get going before the control line. I'd be going now. And there's also some dirt and gravel on the racetrack in that corner as he picks up the throttle and now we're back into it. How many more laps will we get? Possibly, I'd say two. It's a green-white checker, to use the American terminology here at Bathurst. So we go ripping up Mountain Straight. It was advantage slightly towards Everingham towards the end of that green flag run. Boys runs it wide, coming out of the chase. That's made him vulnerable to the last corner. Stacks the field up slightly. Ojeda looks to the outside of his teammate. Bit of friendly fire in his sideways oh, mid-corner. Ojeda's in the wrong spot. And Charter's Charter got a run. massive run. He'll get at least Ojeda. Ojeda's got to sink like a sinker here. But he... Zach Best, he's done it again. Two for one. Twice he's done that in the same weekend. You wait all day for something like that to come along, and somehow he's picked it up twice. Jordan Boys has won two races in this championship. Oh, before, he's got the rear dancing at the elbow, but he's never won a round. That's what's up for grabs here. Everingham I did not start yesterday. So he's not fighting for round honours. He's fighting for a race win right now. And Brock Feeney, third car in the queue, just needs to pass one more car or hope that Tyler passes the leader to win the round. Ojeda now on Robotham to the inside. Can he oh, get he's a got stop? the rears locked. Oh, oh. Zurus has the fronts locked. And he'll just struggle to keep that out of the sand and out of the gravel. Boys is in trouble. His rear tyre's in trouble. Didn't quite get it turned. Everingham's come off shallower, but can't get the nose. Can't get the overlap. Can't get there. He's still looking. That door... Boys is not going to leave that door open. Now Feeney wants around the outside. How good is Dunlop Super 2? When it's on, it's absolutely on. Important to be neat and tidy here. Don't get greedy. Boys is carrying plenty of speed. He needs to get off here. Everingham, I think, has done a better job getting off the corner, but he's too far behind. Under serious pressure, Jordan Boys under the watchful eye of Erebus. One more corner to go. Everingham has a little bit of a look, but he's not quite close enough, and Boys gets the win. His first round win as well in Dunlop Super 2. Wins is what he needs, and by just point two of a second, which, yes, is the closest Super 2 race we've had here at the mountain, he gets the job done. That was a thriller. And it's Tyler Everingham, Brock Three, Feeney who wrap up the three. And well done to Jordan Boys. His first ever round win in Dunlop Super 2.